Okay, in uh, this video, we're going to prove that the tangent of the arc sine of x is x over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay, the first thing that we need to notice about tangent of the arc sine is that if we call this one f of x is tangent of the arc sine of x, then this is defined when x is in minus 1, 1, not including 1 and minus 1. Because tangent is not defined on pi over 2 and minus pi over 2. Okay, so now to simplify this equation, we will use algebra. Okay, in fact, let's use some key ideas here. If we let alpha be the, uh, the sine inverse of x, then alpha is going to be in uh, this interval, minus pi over 2, pi over 2, not including pi over 2 and minus pi over 2. Okay, and x is in minus 1, 1. Okay, therefore, uh, we know that the, uh, the sine and the arc sine are inverse of each other in this uh, interval. Therefore, we can take the sine, sine of alpha is x okay so the that means here if we switch here that means we want to find the tangent of alpha okay because we called this arc sine this angle alpha okay one key idea that we're going to use is the relationship between the sine and the tangent okay so we know that one over sine squared of alpha is sine squared of alpha plus cosine squared of alpha because this is always one over sine squared of alpha and here we divide we get one plus cosine squared of alpha over sine squared of alpha and what's this one here it's one over tangent squared of alpha and if we try to simplify we're going to get tangent Alpha, tangent squared of alpha plus 1 over tangent squared of alpha. And here we have 1 over sine of alpha. If we flip, we're going to get sine squared of alpha is tangent squared of alpha over 1 plus tangent squared of alpha. And what did we say about the uh, uh, tangent? We want to find tangent of alpha here. Therefore, uh, uh, we can... Uh, uh, or, or here we could we could have stopped here so this is one over one over sine squared of alpha so here if we take minus if we add minus one to both sides we're gonna get one over sine squared of alpha minus one is one over tangent squared of alpha and this means that tangent of alpha is uh, uh, sine squared of alpha over uh, 1 minus sine squared of alpha. Okay, from here. Okay, this is simple algebra. That means we have tangent of alpha is, uh, we said the sine of alpha is just x. Okay, so we have x squared over 1 minus x squared. Okay. Therefore, we can take the square root for uh, for both of these ones, okay? And we have, then we have tangent alpha in absolute value. It's absolute value of x over square root of 1 minus x squared, because this is always positive, because x is minus 1, 1. Therefore, tangent alpha and x, they have the same sign. And this means that tangent of alpha is x over square root. 1 over square root of 1 minus x square. And what's the tangent of alpha? Tangent of alpha is just the tangent of the arc sine of x. That means tangent of the sine inverse or the arc sine is x over 1 minus x square, over the square root of 1 minus x square. And this is what we need. Okay? The key idea here is to use this formula here. Okay, and after that, you need to get the tangent from here. Okay, the tangent square. We got it here, and uh, from here, we change sine alpha. We know that sine alpha is x. So we put it here, and after that, we know that uh, 
uh, we take the arcs, uh, the, the, the square root of both sides to uh, simplify and after that we get the absolute value. And this means that they have the same sign, tangent of alpha and x, okay? And therefore we can get rid of the absolute value and get tangent of alpha is x over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So this proves our result, okay? Another way that we can uh, do, I see people doing it, is using the triangle, but that one works only for um, uh, small angles. It doesn't cover everything, okay? So algebra, the algebraic way is the best way to solve and simplify these questions, okay? So this is all. Uh, if you see any errors or mistakes, you can uh, 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 comment and or ask. Please like, share, and subscribe for more questions. Okay, thank you very much again.